Hello and welcome. This video is for readers of my novel Tarpeia, which is the second book in the first Vestals of Rome trilogy. Many of the people and legends that you'll read about in my books are depicted on ancient Roman coinage, so I thought readers would be interested in seeing these. And just a heads up, there are spoilers ahead, so you want to finish the novel before you watch the video, and you'll find it more enjoyable that way too, since you can see how certain elements have been dramatized. All right, let's get started. Obviously, the main character is Tarpeia, but another main character is a man by the name of Titus Tatius. He is, in the founding mythology of Rome, a Sabine king who lived during the time of Romulus and Tarpeia, and Tarpeia herself is also a Sabine. What you're looking at here is a 1st century BCE coin minted 89 BCE, so the time of the later Republic. This is the obverse, or front, of the coin, and it shows the face of Titus Tatius. You can see his head here, his beard, and you can see the word Sabine, shortened as most words on coins are shortened or abbreviated. And this, by the way, is a denarius, the standard silver coin. Now, according to the legend, Rome in its earliest days is a city of men. Needing women, Romulus invites some neighboring tribes to visit Rome under the pretense of a festival, but really, it's all a setup. And he and his men end up abducting, basically kidnapping, the young women visiting their city. And if we flip over the coin of Tashus, we see this very famous scene. It's a crime, really, depicted. This is the so-called abduction of the Sabine women. There's two Roman soldiers here, and each one is carrying off one of these Sabine women. This impression does have a certain visceral quality to it. The soldier on the right here looks like he's really struggling to hold on to this woman, and then... On the left, you can actually see the one woman's arms kind of reaching out, presumably trying to fight off her abductor. It's obviously a bold representation of a crime, and it does elicit a certain unpleasant emotional response. I suppose not unlike, say, the Judea Capta coins or the other conquest coins where you see captives. But moving on, and moving on specifically to the legend of Tarpeia, which is intertwined with the abduction of the Sabine women. The classical or typical telling of the legend is that Tarpeia was a vestal priestess who opened the gates of Rome to the Sabine army so that they could rescue their women, and she did this in exchange for what they wore on their arms. She assumed this would be their gold cuffs or rings or jewelry. But the Sabine soldiers thought differently. They saw her as a traitor, as did Rome, and they threw their shields, which they carried on their arms, down on top of her, crushing her to death. And here we see the reverse of a coin. This is again from the time of the Republic, 89 BCE. We can see Tarpeia in the middle here, her arms out, her hair kind of wild, and she's fighting off two soldiers who are about to throw their shields at her and kill her. This is a really dark video, but anyway, the legend of Tarpeia is an enduring one, and the scene of Tarpeia's death is actually depicted on the reverse of a second coin. This is a coin of Augustus that was minted around 19 BCE, so about a decade into the empire, and the emperor is actually on the obverse, or the front of it, but here we can see poor Tarpeia buried to the waist in shields, arms up to protect herself, or maybe beg for mercy, and you can see her dress, her veil, it's all pretty intense. And you can also see that this coin has a hole in it. Now, some coins were holed in antiquity to nail to things, most likely, like a temple or an offering to a god. But to me, this looks like it was worn as a pendant, which was also a common practice. And considering the subject matter, treason, punishment, it makes you wonder who wore this and why. Did a Vestal wear it as a sign of her loyalty? Or maybe a soldier? Or maybe it was nailed somewhere? Maybe onto one of the gates of Rome as a reminder of what happens when you open them when you shouldn't? Even when I first saw this coin, I was curious about that, and I still am. So some fairly intense images in these coins, but they are fascinating. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the novel Tarpeia and that you'll keep reading. Book three, the final book in the trilogy, is called Amada, and you'll find a video showing some coins from that story too. So until next time, take care.